Well, it's early in the morning. We're at a high elevation on Highway 1. We're headed towards Big Sur. And what a drive it's going to be. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, to drive along the Pacific Coast and see what we could see. It's a hard road to drive. It's windy and twisty. You've got to be very careful. It's not so bad when you're going this way, but when you're making a left turn and you're right on the edge of the highway, you really got to be careful because you wind up in the ocean. Look at there. I'm going to stop here and take a photograph. Got to be careful. Traffic, you know, pull off the road as far as you can. Now we're blistering down the highway again. We're headed towards Big Sur. And it's early in the morning. We're still at a high elevation. I'm not over the bristle cones yet. My lungs are still hurting. Look at those rocks out in the water and the mist out there. Wow. It's amazing what you can pull together when you use the right lens and a filter. Cruising down the highway again. Wow. Mary and I were totally unprepared for this coastal drive. We were expecting sort of a meandering drive along the ocean. We had no idea that we would be going up and down a mountain range and that the mountains ran right to the edge of the sea, that we'd be looking off of cliffs down at the water, and that it would be hard to find vantage points to really get good photographs. We were quite surprised that the mountains went right down to the sea. Maybe we should have done a little more research, but it was a nice enough surprise anyway. This is Point Arena, a nice little community on the road. We just blasted through. We stopped to take a couple pictures on the side of the road after the village. So much driving to do. There's hundreds of miles along these coast roads, winding highways with not too much to see for long distances of road. Got to really keep your wits about you. Sun shining in my eyes and uh, putting the sun visor down, putting my sunglasses on and trying to be careful and really watch because I'm scared. I'm not, this is not my hometown. I'm looking for photographs too out over the edge. The road, you can see there's been some repairs to the road. It's not all that smooth really. You got to watch your speed. But when I look ahead and I see the things that are coming up to me, then I realize why I'm doing this. I don't have a chance to get photographs like this just sitting at home in my living room. So I like to get out on the highway and burn up the miles, burn tanks of gas, and uh, see what we can find. Wow, look at that sunrise. It's just amazing. I stopped on that bridge every time we went across it, and I think we went across about four times because, uh, well, we wanted to get the best pictures of Big Sur that we could find. It's the kind of place you're only going to do this coastal drive once, probably. Maybe you might do it again. I don't know. You want to be very careful here. Wow, look at that beach. Now, it would be nice if that beach was public, but that beach is fenced off with barbed wire, and it's some kind of a ranch, and uh, nobody was allowed to go there. We're just cruising down the road again. I'm watching out over the side there. Mary's yelling at me to be careful because uh, you can see here we're going through some hairpin turns and you have to drop down to 20, 25 miles an hour, especially with the van. Like I'll have a sports car sitting right on my tail and uh, trying to push me, but I can't, uh, I'm not driving a sports car. I'm driving a E-150 van and it's, uh, it's top heavy and uh, you gotta take care. Look at the edge of there. If you went off the edge there, you're going to go home in a box. Nice tight hairpin. That's not so bad there. But when you're going the other way, you're right on the edge of the earth. Look, at that's the coast that we're driving along. Beautiful. So just a matter of lighting. Like when you're driving into the sun, it's one thing. But when you're coming back, it's another. It's a lot harder to see photographs this way because the sun's coming at you. So we drive down that way, turn around, and then come back again. Look out over the edge. Look at that beach. Look at the bridge there. Black and white really seems to work for that location. It's Highway 1, still Highway 1. We're headed towards Big Sur. I don't know how far we are away from Big Sur yet. I stop here to take a photograph. Uh-oh, there's something wrong with my brakes. We had to take a little detour from here and go and get our brakes fixed. 
which was uh, took one day only. Well, we had to stay overnight, and they fixed the brakes the next day. And it was reasonable. It wouldn't it would have cost me just as much to have it done at home. I had two new rotors, bearings, and pads put on for like 450 something like that, tax included. Here we go, blasting down the highway again. Wow. I keep stopping to take pictures. Right on the edge of the world there. I'm telling you, if you go off the side there, you're not coming back. There we go. Another tight turn coming around. Another tight turn. Another tight turn. Wow. And I'm all the time trying to sneak peeks over the side to see what might be there for a picture. Maybe I might come back or maybe I might uh, stop and uh, walk down a bit. There's pullouts every once in a while. Look at that coastline. I mean, wow, what a thing to see. It's just beautiful. It's not easy to get to. It's hilly, high mountains and... Uh, tight turns, twisting and turning. And then there's some people on motorcycles that are there to see how fast they can do it. And maybe a BMW two-seater or a Mercedes sports car that wants to see how fast they can get through. Me, I'm trying to see how much I can see, not how fast I can get through. I don't want to wind up like James Dean. We actually stopped at uh, his last gas station uh, where he stopped to fill up before he uh, wrecked his car. Now we're blasting along again. Look at that highway. Look at that turn. Wow. Tight around. Coming around. Traffic always, man. Never stops. And I have to stop once in a while to take photographs. I mean, that's what I'm here for, to try and get as many pictures as I can. I'm not just trying to rack up the miles. I want to come back home with some photographs. I want some wall hangers, something that people are going to want to see, covering the mileage. Bud Watson, he's been dead a long time now, but he told me one time it's not about how many mosquito bites you got or how bad a sunburn you got. It's all about the pictures, and that's the way I feel about this. Doesn't matter how much gas we go. Look at that bridge. Doesn't matter how many tanks of gas, how many places we have to stay overnight, what kind of hardships we have to put up with. Sometimes you might go for like a week without getting a real shower, just like washing your head in a bowl of water or uh, pouring a bucket of water over yourself at the side of the road when nobody's looking. Here we go, blasting down the highway, I'm telling you. Highway 1, something to see. I highly recommend the drive, I really do. It's expensive, it's hard on vehicles. There's a lot of coastline to see. Now, before we got on to Highway 1, I saw a sign that Highway 1 was closed and... Uh, we decided to come down and see just, you know, how bad it was and everything like that. So we're driving along, and uh, I met this one young fellow, and he said, no, no, you can get through right through. It's not a problem. You can get through and go through this army base area, and then you'll be able to get through to the place where he was born and raised where that's where he was headed. And uh, so I took him at his word, and I was excited about being able to finish off Highway 1 and uh, find some other turf. I was really excited about driving the whole coastline, and uh, it didn't quite work out like that, unfortunately. Look at those rocks and the sunshine. Now here I stopped and I talked to a fellow, and he said that there's some free camping up ahead. First come, first served. That's the first sunset that I saw when we got to Big Sur. So I'm cruising along here looking for this free camping, which uh, didn't actually materialize. But we're cruising along. He told me it was $100 a night to camp otherwise, which that didn't happen either. We did pretty good. So we're just going down the coastline. This was in the morning. We had a beautiful sunrise. We stayed at one place, then we got up and went to another place to watch for the sunrise. 
those joggers really put me into a situation. I had to move over to give them some room and a car was coming the other way. It was a little bit dicey for everybody for a second there. But nobody got hit, so that's the main thing. We're just cruising right along here. I'm still looking for photographs. Again, it's hard because we're looking into the sunshine here. We're still headed um, south right now. So we're headed south, and I'm seeing some beautiful sunrises. Wow. Great pictures along, with the, along the coast. It's the mist on the water and the sun and the particles in the air. It makes for beautiful photographs. And you're away from home, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm going to all this expense of driving and being here, so I'm going to work as hard as I can to try and get as many photographs as I can. There I am again, stopping at this place for another different view. Every time the light was a little bit different on things, it was just great. Cruising along, now we're going uphill. Sun's at our back now. So we're headed back out of Big Sur, for the, I think for the first time. We're headed north now and we're driving to go past Big Sur again and see what we can find on the way. Because I figured, you know, we might as well get as many sunsets, as beach scenes, anything we can find, you know. Like we were there for a couple days, so we covered it as best as we could. You could probably spend a long time there if you had lots of money and lots of time. Everything is pretty expensive there. So it's bit of a tourist uh, destination. Cruising down the road again looking for something. We saw a place that said Heavenly Granola and it said two scenic miles down the road but we took that turn off and those scenic miles were like straight up in the air and we decided not to uh, go up there at all. And uh, it was a one-lane highway going straight up the side of the mountain, and uh, I we didn't feel up to that. So we just came out of there and started heading back down here. Stop and take a few photographs. Turned around, and we're headed back south again. I think this is when I met up with the fellow that told me we could go south all the way out. And I stopped on this beach and took a couple photographs there. So we're thinking we're going to be able to get out by driving all the way down here. It's a nice drive anyway. I was really enjoying it. The beaches are just unbelievable. I mean, it's just fantastic. There wasn't enough uh, big waves for surfing, really. I saw some surfers at a couple places, one by the lighthouse. But um, the other young fellow that was there to surf, he decided to pack up and leave. There's just so much highway to cover. It's just driving for hour after hour after hour. You just drive along and watch your gas gauge go down. It's 120 bucks or so every time you gotta stop and fill up. Beautiful sunsets all along the way. Not just sunsets, it's nice during the highlight too, during the, you know, from 10 till noon and, uh, from two to four is really good light too. Okay, now we're coming to the end. This is where the road had been washed out and has been fixed up to this extent. And we saw signs that we would have to turn around in like 12, kilo 12 miles, sorry. We had to turn around in about 12 miles. But we were still hopeful that just maybe we can get through. So I'm driving down the road and we see all the road repairs, see the big equipment at the sides of the road. I get a few photographs. Look at the something going on in the shoreline there in the water. Now I see this thing here. It's like a square tunnel that's been built 
to stop rocks from hitting the cars as the rocks slide down the hill. There's a view of it from the distance. That's actually from the Holy Granola uh, parking lot where we had to drive up two miles more, but we didn't go up there. Never seen anything like that. Then we get to the end of the road here and we have to turn around and head back. But that just gave us another chance to get some more photographs of Big Sur. Every time I saw that bridge, I'd say, Mary, look at that bridge. And she said, you say that every time you see that bridge. <laughs> My sense of direction is uh, world renowned for being very bad. We certainly enjoyed our drive down the coast in spite of the mountains. And uh, well, we had problems with the brakes, but that was after the bristle cone trees. That was a 10,000 foot descent. And there were several other mountain ranges, so uh, it was to be expected. We're going to put out a video about fixing the brakes and doing repairs on the van and on the computer and that pretty soon. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.